Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So today we are going to do topic 40. That is rainwater harvesting. That is rainwater harvesting. So what is rainwater harvesting? It is a process involving collection of it is a process involving collection of collection and storage of rainwater with help of artificially designed systems. With help of artificially designed systems that runs uh, that run off uh, that runs off rainwater storage of rainwater that runs off natural or man-made catchment areas. natural or man-made catchment areas <clears throat> example rooftop compounds rock surfaces rock surface or hill slopes, whatever you want to say. Or artificially repaired impervious or semi-pervious land surface. Or artificially repaired impervious or semi-pervious land surface so from simple words you can understand that the runoff rainwater which is run off we need to store that rainwater from where such as rooftop compounds the rainwater collected in these areas we need to be stored through using artificially designed systems now what are the importance of rainwater harvesting importance of rainwater Harvesting importance of rainwater harvesting. First of all, it reduces runoff losses. Reduces runoff loss to meet rising demand of water. To meet. rising demand of water for agricultural and food security agricultural and food security women issues of hardship of fetching water women issues where they face hardships of Fetching water in desert areas, in some desert villages, women go for more than 5 to 10 kilometers just to fetch water. <coughs> Supplement groundwater supplies during lean season. Supplement groundwater supplies in lean season or dry season. Lean season or dry season. Raise water table by recharge groundwater. Raise water table by by recharging of groundwater. Recharging of groundwater. Reduce groundwater contamination. Avoid flooding of roads. Avoid flooding of roads is avoided so these are the some of the importance of rainwater harvesting now moving on what is water harvesting 
a slight difference between rainwater harvesting and water harvesting. In rainwater harvesting, we need to conserve rainwater, harvest rainwater, but in water harvesting, any water, any kind of water flowing, we need to conserve that. So we will see here what is water harvesting. Process of collecting and storage of water. Process of collection and storage Just collection and storage or collecting or storing water on surface of soil on surface of soil for subsequent use What we do in rainwater harvesting the uh, uh, rainwater harvested inside the ground, but here we are harvesting in the surface of soil for subse subsequent use. It is a method to induce. It is a method to induce, collect, store, and conserve. Local surface runoff. For agri for agriculture in arid and semi-arid regions. For arid and semi-arid regions, it was developed to find art about 2,000 years ago. This practice of water harvesting has been done by us, done by humans early humans for more than 2000 years ago. Now what are the importance of water harvesting in modern agriculture? Importance of water harvesting in modern agriculture. What are the importance of water harvesting in modern agriculture? First of all, it makes farming possible in arid and semi-arid areas. Makes farming possible in arid and semi-arid areas. Semi-arid areas. As climate change made rainfall unpredictable, water harvesting is key. What happens due to climate change? The rainfall has become unpredictable. Rainfall has become unpredictable. We are not able to predict the rainfalls. So water harvesting is here water harvesting is key, very important. It halts, reduces environmental degradation. Environment, this is environment. In short form, I have written ENBT. You should understand environment degradation environment degradation environmental degradation such as soil erosion example we can see soil erosion will lead to achieve sustainable agriculture will achieve sustainable agriculture It avoids some problems of soil, avoids major soil problems, major soil problems. So these are the importance of water harvesting for modern agriculture. Now what are the methods of water harvesting? Methods of water harvesting. Methods of Water harvesting. So first of all, we will deal with in situ methods. So the in situ methods are bunding and terracing. Bunding and terracing. Vegetative and store contour. Vegetative and stone contour. We got contour terracing. Contour terracing, contour stone walls, 
कॉन्टूर फार्मिंग माइक्रो कैचमेंट टाइड रिजिंग मैथड्स टाइड रिजिंग मैथड्स फार्म पॉन्ड्स so these are some of the in situ methods of rain water harvesting so not not rain water simply water harvesting now second methods are second one is surface runoff harvesting so here surface runoff so can be both direct or stream flow direct and stream flow so what are surface runoff harvesting methods roof water collection so stone is roof water collection second one is ponds dug out ponds we can dug out ponds third one is we can make percolation ponds we can make gully control structures we can make check dams next one check dams we can make both per, uh, both permanent as well as temporary check dams seal detention tanks we can make seal detention tanks normal tanks so uh, these are the surface and of harvesting methods Now moving on to third method that is sub of sub surface flow harvesting. Third method is sub surface. Previous one was surface. This one is sub surface flow harvesting. How will you harvest sub surface flow? We can do make sub surface dams, sub surface dams. we can make diaphragm dams the earth subsurface dams now moving on what are we can make micro catchments or water sets for inter terrace or inter plot harvesting Let's let's enter plot harvesting. We can make conservation bench terrace, conservation bench terrace. <coughs> We can also. Fifth method is run for uh, runoff inducement surface treatment surface treatment for this we can make eroded catchments we can use uh, of cover materials such as. aluminum foil plastic sheet aluminum foil plastic sheets we can use chemicals for waterproofing waterproofing or water repellent etc so what will they they will enhance runoff and hence this runoff will be stored hence we can enhance the water storage so this was about different methods of water harvesting now moving on what what are the many water harvesting methods we use in different parts of country water harvest in different parts of country water harvesting in different parts of country in arid plains uh-huh. 
inherit planes we make artificial structure to capture rainfall capture rainfall example kundis in rajasthan kundis in rajasthan tanks to capture surface runoff you can make tanks to capture surface runoff we can also make uh, instead of uh, tanks we can also make embankments embankments to capture surface runoff in semi arid places we all here also make tanks ponds etc to capture surface runoff here, here we can see a chain of tanks in many places in semi arid region which is called cascade in the flood plains we used to make embankments mud embankments in hills and mountains hills and mountains we use diverted stream flow method diverted stream flow this can be seen in jammu kashmir himachal pradesh etc now what are the government initiatives for rainwater harvesting government initiatives for rain water harvesting first of all we created new ministry that is ministry of jal shakti we have national water policy national water policy which was passed in 2012 we have circulation model bills circulation model bills to state with regulation of ground water and provi to state which has regulation of ground water and provision for rain water harvesting we have central ground water authority where section 5 is mandatory for rain water harvesting we have aquifer mapping and what aquifer may aquifer mapping and management program was established in 12th five year plan we have national water awards national water awards to encourage good practices of water conservation and water harvesting next point we have water set development program we have atal jal yojana atal jal yojana we have also many states have done efforts states efforts such as jal yukt jal yukt abhiyan no, sorry jal yukt sewer in maharashtra jal yukt sewer in maharashtra we have got jal jeevan haryali in bihar Mm, 
जल जीवल हरियाली इन बिहार वी हैव गॉट जल ही जीवन है इन हरियाणा वी हैव गॉट चीफ मिनिस्टर जल स्वलंबम अभियान इन महाराष्ट्र नंबर अभियान इन महाराष्ट्र वी हैव सुजलम सुफलम इन गुजरात सुजलम सुफलम इन गुजरात and many other states also have these types of provision and all these consist water harvesting as and their uh, important part so and this was all for water harvesting i hope you all understand these topics for any queries do comment if you like it please press the like button do share and subscribe that's all for today have a nice day thank you